It's so nice to see all the folks you love together sitting and talking about all the things that's been going down. It's been a long, long time since we had a chance to get together. Nobody knows next time we see each other, maybe years and years from now, a family reunion, oh, oh, a family reunion, a family reunion. It's so nice to come together, to get together. I wish Grandma could see the whole family. I show sure miss her face. And her warm and tender embrace. Ooh, and if Grandpa was here, I know he'd be smiling from ear to ear to see what he has done. All the offsprings from his daughters and sons. I got to stop singing it because uh, really it just, it makes me too full. I can't never sing that song without crying. It is such a powerful, powerful song, y'all. And I don't care if YouTube, I went too far. I know you're going to demonetize um, the video, but I just had to get that one off. Listen, y'all. <laughs> Listen, listen, I don't know what kind of story, if this is a feel-good story, um, but it's a be sure your sins will fall, found you out, will find you out. What's done in the dark will come to the light, and truth pressed to the earth will rise. These are all the things that we were told as kids, and these are all expressions, whether they're African proverbs, or just slave tidbits. We knew these truths to be self-evident. We knew them. Anyway, y'all listen to this. <laughs> Protesters are in search of Carolyn Bryant, a Dunham, now in her 80s, of Raleigh, North Carolina, after a 1955 arrest warrant is unearthed in Mississippi. She is accused of... The, uh, she accused a 14-year-old Emmett Till of whistling at her at a grocery store in Money, Mississippi. Donham's husband, Roy Bryant, and half-brother J.W. Milam were arrested for his lynching but were later acquitted. The pair later admitted that they did it and couldn't be prosecuted due to double jeopardy. Look at this craziness. How long, y'all? How long? On Wednesday, prosecutors went to three listed addresses. Uh, protesters, I'm sorry, went to listen to three different addresses under Dunham's name in search of her, but didn't find her. One of the addresses was a senior living facility. Raleigh PD, a police department, was called and the facility was locked down. Video of the event shows the protesters asking the seniors if they recognize Dunham's photo before leaving and chanting, Black power, no justice, no peace. They crashed the living. They looking for you, girl. Carolyn Bryant, they looking for you. What is you going to do? <laughs> what? Last week, they found an unserved warrant for Dunham. It was found in the basement. They didn't even serve it. Look at all this injustice. And they got the nerve to think we don't even deserve reparations. I mean, look at all the injustice, and they just keep piling shit on top of 
piling shit on top of pile. When are we going to get tired, family? When are we going to get tired of all this? Can't you? I don't know about y'all. But I can feel my ancestors just screaming through my bones. Every time I focus on, I could feel them in them holes of them slave ships. I can feel them being lynched and swung from trees and burnt. And somebody saying, don't you forget about me. Don't you forget. Don't let these people give you money and give you the bag. And all of a sudden you think everything is fair and you forget about me. Don't forget about your Holocaust. Because the Jews sure ain't going to forget about theirs. And they're going to make sure you don't forget about it. Because they're going to keep shoving it down your damn throat. And make sure. And I don't got no problem with that. Okay? I don't got no problem with that. But I want you and me to love ourselves that much that we'll never forget our Holocaust. Never forget. Never forget. Emma Till was a 14-year-old preteen. He was a teenager. And this was done to that boy? Yeah, they found your war and they looking for you. And I don't feel no kind of way of uh, sorry for her or nothing. Period. She needs to face justice. She needs to face All justice. Y'all right, be on the lookout now. Y'all going to be looking for Carolyn. Oh. Do I know what she looks like? This is them at the nursing home. And they found out she wasn't there. Right here. Yeah. A false accuser of Emmett Till, one that said that Emmett Till had sexually assaulted her. She lived in Mississippi. No, she's not living. This is she's in a nursing home. This is not a nursing home. Which nursing home? I don't know. The, the, the television never gave the name. I've heard that three or four different times on the television. She's in a nursing home. Well, she being looked for. And you know what? And I'm going to tell you something. They're going to find her. So she might as well do what she's going to do to herself or face the music. Just like all those Nazi officers who burnt and put those Jews in those damn ovens with gas coming out of them, and they are seeing they just do whenever they find them. When your ass get found, Carolyn, you have to have some accountability for your behavior. And that's all I got to say about it. Alice, what y'all think? You think I'm wrong? You think I'm wrong? And tell me why if you do.